Not really, Bill. Just tell me if this is getting on your nerves. See, I'm sure this is important. I'm thinking about calling it music. The only way I'll ever be sure this is something important is to keep playing it all the time. Day and night, night and day, week after week, till I figure it out. <laughs> wow, Bill! Would you look at that? Isn't this creature magnificent? It looks like a fly, yet it's colorful and it's got a big butt. I think I'll call it a, um, a butt fly. No, an elephant. Go on, you majestic and graceful elephant. Fly away. Be free. Lazy Bones, this is no time for a nap. I've got lots more music for you to enjoy. I have a reading on the humans. They are nearby. Nearby? Oh, man, you know how crafty those little devils are. They probably know exactly where we are. This one time, we have the element of surprise. Right, Doc? I'd bet on it. But I wouldn't bet much. N now, come on, Bill. That would probably be very painful. Of course it would be painful. Don't eat me! Eat him! He's plump and delicious! I, I'm a bottom feeder! I, I carry bacteria! Hi, guys! Huckleberry! I brought you guys some food! Oh, uh, great! More bark! And what's this? Oh, yum! Pumice! Oh, uh, great! Swamp grass! What a treat! What's next? Some mud for dessert? Sorry! It's all I could pull together since I ran away from home. You ran away from home? Are you nuts? Your mom loves you. You've got someone who cares about you. Hang on to that. Look at me, I've got no one. You got me, Bill. You see, Huckleberry, I'm doomed. My life is worth squat. But you, you're still young. This isn't the place for a young dino. There's all kinds of dangerous things out there. Bad dinosaurs that could hurt you. Now, come on. Don't be silly, Bill. There's not a bad dinosaur around here for miles. Well, what do you know? Huckleberry the boy, Thesaurus. Dr. Steggy's nephew. Ooh, I hate those smarty pants, Thesauruses. They have a different word for everything. Yes, and a new word for Huckleberry could be bargaining chip in our negotiations with the great dinosaur society. Well, uh, we're not in negotiations with the dinosaur society, sir. But if we had Dr. Steggy's nephew, Huckleberry as our hostage, things would be very different now, wouldn't they? We'll never do it! The humans are unstoppable! We'll be destroyed, man! Get a hold of yourself, squat! Enough. There's a communication coming in. I'm sending him a top secret weapon that our best scientist has hoard, led by Dr. Steggy, have developed to combat this mankind menace. It's a terrifying weapon that shoots a ray which freezes anything it comes into contact with. We will airdrop it to you as soon as you have radioed in your coordinates. We will transmit our coordinates to you right away, General. Take care of this, squad. Very well. The next time I talk to you bunglers, I'll expect to hear that those two mankinds have been frozen in an ice. Out. No stupid thunder lizards are bound to blow this. Gotta ask you, Bob, have stupider dinosaurs ever been hatched? Ever? I mean, those thunder lizards are so... Uh, I think you're still transmitting, sir. Good Cretaceous. I Kata, we've got to figure out a way to locate and sneak up on these humans and blast them back to the pre-Stone Age with this new weapon the General is sending us. Psst. Hey, Cutter, I can't read Doc's writing. Does this look like a 4 or a 7 to you? Come on, Squat, what does it look like to you? A 4 or a 7, huh? You tell me! Uh, an 8? Well, then it's an 8. Now transmit it! Doesn't he, Huckleberry? I wonder what Bill is dreaming about. I'll bet he's dreaming about ways to make our lives better, huh? Yeah, we better not wake him up. Hey, what's that sound? Here they come. It is our weapon. But this is wrong. Why are they stopping at that end of the jungle? Oh, no. Tell me it isn't so. What, man? What are they doing? They are dropping the terrible new weapon in the wrong place. Gee, Scooter, maybe you better wake up Bill. Come on, wake up, Bill. Wake up! Oh, leave me alone. Go away. But Bill! Shut up and go away or I'll pull your head off. But Bill! When does the hurting stop? Gee, I 
wonder what this is. It looks like a big box, Huckleberry. Well, Huckleberry, what the heck is that? I know what this is. I know exactly what this is. I can't believe this. This is great. I know what this is. You do? Really? Well, then what is it, Mr. Smarty Skins? Yeah, what is it? It's called a camera. It takes your picture. Picture? What's a picture? It's freezing a moment in time. It's capturing you in one pose forever. Like a memory. We can look at the picture forever, and you'll always look the same. Watch, Bill. Stand over there. What? Stand where? Here? Yeah, right there. Now watch. Say cheese. What's cheese? I have no idea. Isn't that remarkable? Look, Huckleberry, it worked. Bill is completely frozen in this moment in time. Forever. Gee, I'm not so sure this is right, Scooter. Bill's frozen all right, but it's not in a picture. He's frozen in a block of ice. Sorry. We better get Bill out of here. Now, I don't know, Huckleberry. If this isn't a camera, I don't know what it is. Well, then we better leave it alone. My mom always told me if something isn't mine, then I shouldn't touch it. Your mom probably knows best, Huckleberry. Yeah, my mom's always right in the end, and she's probably worried by now. Oh, I better go home. I think you're doing the right thing, Huckleberry. Well, yeah, but I'll come back soon and bring you guys some more food and stuff. Hey, look! Your best friend Bill is okay. Bye-bye, little critters. Be careful out here. Bye, Huckleberry. <laughs> comes the little reptile now. Soon he will be ours. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. Those humans are way too cranially undeveloped to ever figure out that freezing device. That's good, Doc. Yeah, I'd hate to think we were in any kind of danger. Uh... Ah! Hey, Bill, here's an idea. Listen. <laughs> I've invented interpretational dance to go with it. This is terrible. <laughs> oh, it sure is. All my change is falling out, man. I'm afraid it's even worse than that. Thuggo! That's right. And you foolish thunder lizards have fallen into my trap. And now it's time to say goodbye. Going so soon? I believe he means we are going bye-bye, squad. That's right. Adios, Thunder Lizards. Goodbye, fellas. It has been nice fighting with you. What happened, man? The humans, they have gotten hold of the freeze ray. They are trying to shoot us with it. Let's get out of here! Well, now you've done it, Scooter. You've given the sky dandruff. Are you happy now? Hey, this stuff is slippery. This gives me an idea. Well, uh, gee, Doc. Do you think we should let General Galapagos know that a slow-moving mountain of ice is making its way towards Jurassic City and it's our fault? No, it will just make him angry. Yeah, and when you think about it, how much damage could a slow-moving mountain of ice do? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the mountain of ice and fluffy white stuff is an inconvenience at the moment. It's not gonna wreck the world of dinosaur civilization as we know it. I mean, history isn't gonna remember this time as the Ice Age or anything. <laughs> right, Doc? Huh? Doc? Okay, okay, Bill. I call it skiing. It's gonna be all the rage. You'll see. Come on, trust me. Try it. You can go first. Oh, oh, oh. Ah! When does the hurting stop? 